Let me first of all uh, say the conference was a success. Among the conference decisions, the Copenhagen Accord marks a significant step forward. Uh, first, it commits uh, countries uh, to work to limit global temperature rise to below uh, 2 degrees uh, Celsius. It also says that they will review this commitment in 2015 uh, to take account of new scientific evidence. I understand that the IPCC is going to uh, uh, they will try to uh, release uh, their fifth assessment report uh, in 2014. I believe uh, this accord represents almost all member states of the country's positions. Of course, I, I understand that this, all the element does not meet the full satisfaction of all the countries. But we didn't expect that uh, we would be able to have this legally binding treaty satisfying all the elements uh, and to all the member states. But I think we did get what we need uh, to make this process move on. Given the fact that we were approaching Copenhagen with a great deal of, uh, uh, some, in some, some quarters, say, pessimism because of the uh, the obvious differences that still exist as we approach Copenhagen. But in the final analysis, though the outcome wasn't as uh, optimum as we had all wished, nonetheless, we had made sufficient progress, we think, to have a, a good sound uh, launch pad for the 2010. And of course, for the 2010, we need to work extremely dil diligently so we can have a legally binding treaty by the middle of next year, hopefully. We won't know exactly how many people sign on to that political agreement until governments have a chance to literally sign on to it. If you take their public statements, you can say this political agreement that was hashed out under intense negotiating circumstances does have a broad base of support, but the exact numbers and uh, nature of that support won't be known until they uh, actually take action. Is it a uh, failure for the Secretary General? Quite the opposite. Um, there would not have been a consensus resolution to put this before all the member governments had the Secretary General not directly intervened in the closing uh, plenary. Just to be clear on this. Uh, We've been saying, Secretary General has been saying for over a year that we need very strong political guidance from the highest levels to the negotiations. And what we got in this accord is exactly that, without which the the next step of making the, politically bind, the legally binding treaty would not be possible. So we have an accord which has immediate follow-up, but at the same time it provides that guidance to the negotiators next year. So we actually got two things.